when I was at school, I, I didn't have a very good time at school and I didn't do any art at all. Um, I was regarded as being too disruptive to be in the art class. So I went off and did sport. And it wasn't until um, I was 19 uh, that I first started painting. Somebody gave me the opportunity and I did a, a watercolour in uh, Glasgow. I shall always remember it. And uh, they put it in a frame for me and I was very pleased with my first watercolour. Uh, and I've been painting really ever since. What does it mean to me? Well, whatever the distractions are, wherever I am, if I'm drawing in the street or I'm painting at home or in a studio, I I'm within myself and I I've somehow find an inner peace in myself uh, when I'm painting and drawing. And that came to be a real blessing for me a few years ago where I had some unexpected events in my life and I went through a period of um, really aching depression. To try and describe what depression is like to someone who's never had it is very difficult, but it's a feeling of a great weight settling on you and it, you become just really dysfunctional. And I turned to painting because I knew whilst I was painting I could find myself again. And so I don't think I've ever painted or drawn anything that's been a manifestation of my mental state of mind. I've always painted other things or realistically or the sort of things that you'll see in the exhibition. But it's the opportunity for that quiet self moment that I find so valuable and was really the exit route for me from a time when I suffered from depression. Hello, my name's Terry Porritt. I discovered from a very early age, being the short, slightly podgy and ginger-haired member of the family, that I felt far better being on the other side of the camera. And that's where my passion for photography started. I've always been a really uh, enthusiastic photographer, but entirely amateur. And really, it was just a hobby and something nice to do on holidays. Until the last four years. My mum had dementia, and I found the pressure and isolation of looking after my mum incredibly stressful. I felt overwhelmed with the enormity of the situation that we faced. And really then, photography became my outlet. I would leave after a, a day with uh, caring for my mum and just spend 15 minutes with my camera looking at detail, looking at finding colour. I found it incredibly therapeutic just to focus on something else for 15 minutes. And as you will see from my collection, the, the six pieces uh, in this exhibition, it is about detail, being able to focus on detail rather than being overwhelmed by the enormity of a situation.